So today we're going to go ahead and turn a list into a formatted email. Now this is applicable for perhaps uh, meeting notes in a meeting. Now we happen to be doing this as a capture of email, which could be your meeting notes from my son Hunter who served a mission. He just every week as his journal entries, he would create an email and send it in and then at the end of his two years, all of the emails were collected and produced as a report. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And within your organization, you may find this need for perhaps simple note taking, journaling, uh, meeting note taking, all of it's uh, very possible and it's actually very simple to set up. So stay tuned and let's jump right to it. So the first thing we need to do is create a list itself. So we're here on this screen. And again, we're going to walk you through this step by step so you can see every step of the way of what we're doing. But here, we're, we're really looking to create a list. And in this example, we've created a very simple list. This, again, could be meeting notes. So this is the subject, the body, and the created date. This is an automated field. So just go to Microsoft Lists. Let's see what we can do here to show you this. Just go to Lists. And then we could create this as any list. We could just say New List. And let's say that we want to make this Meeting Notes. So we'll go ahead and say a blank list. And we'll say Meeting Notes. Now, I'm not a big fan of using spaces. so. Uh, we could put this anywhere. I like to put it into a SharePoint site, so I put it into my personal one, and I just hit Create. Now, what will happen is this list will automatically create, as you can see here. So to match this screen that we see, we're going to just say, let's add a column here, and we're going to make it Subject. So here we're going to use just text. So... And it's just going to be single line of text because it's not a lot of information. Good. No problem. Hit save. Here, we don't want this title in here. I'm not a big fan of using title because it doesn't help me understand what's in the column. So uh, you can hide it the way I just hit it on the screen here. We're going to do another text field. But this time, we're going to say body. And we're going to say multiple lines of text. And we can look at the options here. I just wanted to point this out. If you're creating this value somewhere else, don't use the rich text. It'll, it'll make the reporting and other things a little more complicated. If you really need to, go for it. But I always do not use it. And so we have that. And then we're going to add a column called created. See there. Notice here, I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to look for created boom now that's an automatic column you don't have to add it and it's going to add everything and now we have what our meeting notes could be what the subject of the meeting is the body we could add tasks we could do all kinds of things let's just keep it really simple with that list okay so we've got the list and then here's what the output looks like again this could be meeting notes this happens to be a mission journal but notice here on the screen that you have the title right of the subject and here you have the date itself of when it was done okay now let's talk about how to collect that information so we've built the list which we've already done here so we're not going to go over that again but let's go ahead and create the flow now this flow converts the email received and places it into the list itself so here we're going to go in and take a look at that now this one um this let's go to that one here let's see here right here and we're going to open it up and i'm just going to walk you through it now i happen to be using the new designer for this you could use the legacy de designer i'm just trying to get with the program you know understand 
um, you know, do all that good stuff. So here to create this, we're going to hit create and we could do an automated or an instant cloud or a scheduled cloud. Now, because this is more of an automated process that needs to happen, we're going to say automated. So that means that every time a new email arrives, it's going to do this function for us. So we select automate it there and we can give it a name, right, which we've already done. And here we're going to say when a new email arrives. So let's go ahead and type that. When a new email arrives and I happen to be using version three. So you would just select this and hit create. Now we've already done that, so we're going to pop right over there and there it is. Now, when you go into here, there's one thing you need to do. So we've created that. We're right here, number two, right? We're still on this guy. Number two, we're going to type in HM2. So what is that? That means that every time an email is sent, we're going to have HM2 in the subject line. So I created an example of what this would look like. So here you see HM2, HM2. This could be anything. It could be meeting notes too. Now, why do I use a numeric value of two? The numeric value of two is because we want to make it unique. So when an email comes in, we don't want accidentally other subject lines having this unique value that's being stored as an email inside of our list. So MM2 meeting notes, or I guess it would be MN2 meeting notes, what the subject is, right? What the meeting subject, for example. And you could just put that in then my meeting notes. That's it. Now notice that I'm sending it to myself. I am on this environment, Lush Advisors, and this is an email in that environment. I need to send, so this is the thing. When they send an email, they have to include this individual in the email because it's going to automatically uh, work and then the power automate flow will go ahead and pick it up okay so here we've got everything we need and that's what the email looks like all right so we got that so the next item we want to do is add the body um, we want to add the new right here html so we're going to click on this plus sign and just say html to text all right and so we're going to go ahead and go back. So we would click on here. We say add an action. We say HTML to text. This is the easiest. Now for right here, content conversion. For those of you that are working in some restricted environments, this may not be available to you. If that's the case, you need to view other videos. There is a workaround for this. All right. So HTML to text. Let's go down to that. We're going to add that action. You can see it written right here on the screen. And we're going to add the body. And to do that, we're going to just click on here. Okay, let's just say that's not there. We're going to click on this guy here. And we're going to say the body of the message. Okay, that's it. Now notice here where we are when a new email arrives. Why? Because that's the action we did right here. We're just pulling from that information. We're going to say body and that's it all we need to do there next step is we need to create the item so again we're going to go here we're going to hit go we're going to hit create item and you're going to see it come up with SharePoint right here create item that's where we're at there it's going to appear just like this okay so here we're going to hit this is a create item remember it's this icon for SharePoint we're going to put in our we're going to select right here on the down arrow there for our site address. So you see here, number two, we're going to do the flow name, excuse me, the list name. So we're just going to click on that arrow, find the list, and then we're going to put in the subject and the body. And the subject is going to be just like we did before. We're going to use this right here and we're going to use it from when the email arrives. So we're going to extract it from there. And then this guy for the body, we're going to do this, but we're going to use this HTML conversion, which we have right here. Okay. Pretty easy so far. So now we've copied and created everything that we need to do. And we're going to populate that list. Now we need to move in to actually producing the report itself. 
And so see the next video on producing a report. And we're going to go over this information so that you can see how exactly. Now, if you don't want to view the new video, I'm going to do just so you can do a screen pause and read my notes. So here you go. There you go. And there you go. All right. We'll see you on the next video.